what are we calling this, Megan? Weekend tripping. Weekend tripping in North Carolina. Because, you know, why not go to North Carolina for the weekend, right? Here we are. Here we are. How long has it been since we've been here, Meg? Five and a half years. There's the... Battleship North Carolina. Because we're in North Carolina. Wilmington. To be exact. And I'm actually looking for real estate. That's why I'm here. And she just has to come along because she loves her mommy. <laughs> no, it's because she loves to travel. I think she loves to travel more than she loves me, yeah. actually. So, That's um, true. Yeah, we're going to be meeting with the realtor later and um, maybe finding a place to live. We'll see. So we're just exploring in the meantime because it's a great great little city to explore and actually where we're standing was all underwater um, several months ago because of the, the hurricane. hurricane so uh, I think it was Florence I'm yeah, not sure Florence but this is the Cape Fear River that woman. right behind us and it's really I'm here at the lot, um, five acres of wooded land. Your one next door neighbor is on the other side of those trees, so you cannot see them at all. Goes back quite a ways. I didn't see any survey stakes or I would show you the back line. And then as you can see, well, maybe you can't see on the camera, but through those other trees there are the neighbors to the other side of you. So you will at no point have neighbors right on you. going to take another video here of what it looks like driving into the neighborhood. Um, it, it is kind of like a subdivision when you first come in. From there it gets to more private and it's clearly marked once you get to these bigger lots that this is a private road and it asks that only... Hey guys, uh, as you can see we've gotten quite a bit of clearing done. We have the space cut out for your driveway. Oh, it might take me a minute to walk this here. Nice long drive, give you plenty of privacy, get you back from the road. Alright, we got all this tree, I believe over there would be where the workshop would be. Oh, wrong way. I believe over there would be where the workshop would be. And then... Over here, we're all cleared to start laying foundation. Um, you can see we got the stakes down on the ground. We are ready to get everything going. Um, permit process has been a little slower than we would have liked. And I promise that by the time you get here at the end of next month, you're gonna see some house and it's gonna be totally different. Alright, let me know if you need anything. Um, at this point, now that we have everything cleared, 
I'll come give you a video at the end of every week because now we're at the point where you're really going to start seeing progress at the end of every week. All right, enjoy your weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye. Here we are on the road again. We just couldn't wait to get on the road again. But this is a big trip. Here we are with Hurdle the Turtle. This is like take number three. My sister made for me. Isn't it cute? Going to the Atlantic with us. And Meg, of course, because I can't go, I can't go road tripping without Meg. And so yeah, we're gonna be doing 40 all the way to the coast. Well, not quite all the way. This is Otis' first visit to the new home, and the good news is there's some supplies. Megan's doing her own video over there. There is, yeah, there is lumber, and there is, um, you know, whatever you call this piece of lumber on top of the foundation. So, good news, good news. tell you that's our little house in the woods house in the woods i can't even tell you how thrilled i am i i we have a house it's our house lord bless our house from the land beneath to the roof above and all around our home through every wall every ceiling the floors the land beneath and the roof above oh my goodness you guys can you tell? Can you tell I'm excited? Okay, I'm gonna back out of here. Like I said, no nails, no holes this time. Although I ran over a big honker stick. Hopefully it didn't do any damage. I guess I'll know soon enough. So I am backing out and I will take you to our the end of our road and turn around. This is just our driveway. Oh my gosh, okay. So, this is a private road. Um, and it dead ends at a house. There's nobody living right across the street from us as of yet. There's a home over here to the right. There's a home over here to the left. the mailboxes if you're bored to tears and you check out now I don't blame you I understand but I am just beyond over the moon because really I thought that I was gonna come out here and potentially see just some sticks on some some concrete um, well horse property over here there's a long driveway that goes back into the back into the woods over there and um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go turn around here. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Got some car trouble there, obviously. Lovely. Sorry, I'm getting Otis a little treaty treaty. There's a pretty house right there. I like hers better. So this is where it dead ends here. There's a house to my left, a house to the right. I don't know if you can see. Let me take my phone out. There's a large pond here. Nice big pond. I'm not sure if that's community or I'm not sure who. It must belong to somebody, whoever owns that property, I guess. I guess we won't go fishing there. Um, Tom will probably want to though. 
I really, I'd like to have a nice pond for um, our property. Like I said, oh, there's a house. You can't see it. Maybe you will when I turn around. So, yeah, you will when I turn around. So, um, this is where it dead ends. There's a gorgeous house to the right. There's another house that goes down that big old long lane. Um, beautiful brick home here on a lovely property. And then you can't maybe, no, you can't see it. It's too wooded. Way back in there in the woods. So you can see none of these houses have any fire damage to the trees because, of course, they protected these trees and these houses. Um, and ours was just a vacant lot. So, you know. It's okay but it ain't vacant no more so firefighters gonna have to be protecting us I see tupelo trees back here all kinds of um, lovely I've been trying to learn the difference between a long leaf pine a short leaf pine and a loblolly pine I know that the loblolly pines are the most prolific of the pines and probably most of these are loblolly pines. The long leaf pine, you can tell the difference by the pine cone in part, the long leaf pine is like the leaf, uh, for pines the leaf is the needle in case you didn't know that. Um, the leaf is really really long apparently on the long leaf pines and they were almost completely According to what I've read, wiped out uh, oak trees, look like evergreen oaks, yep, some sort or another, and of course maple trees. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the longleaf pines were almost completely wiped out, uh, but they're coming back. And then the law, uh, let's see, the shortleaf pine. I, I don't even know. There's um, those are some kind of cedars of some sort or another. House on the right. And again. Okay, so this is as you can see. This is our. We're just taking a nice little country drive here. Enjoy, enjoy your little Monday afternoon country drive. There's our house on the right. This is our driveway. Our little home oh, I'm just I'm just I can't even I can't I can't even No, it's not for sale so yeah I think I still have to get figure out like where our property ends it goes further to the left and to the right than it does back so there's a big like colonial style home to the left which is Megan's favorite and then the neighbors that we met are over here on the right you can't really see they have quite a quite a big home it was my goal to downsize but not that it would be like noticeably sound downsizing um, the master bedroom is smaller uh, but it's big enough to sleep in and it's big enough for our king-size bed so that's what counts hopefully maybe um, yeah so this is all the private road and you will see up here the well, maybe that was a long leaf pine because those are awfully awfully long and then most of these are the loblollies i think but anyway and then this is where the private road ends and this is where it's public uh i don't know who this all this property belongs to i'm not really sure Anyway, as soon as we get around the little bend here, you'll see there is a community of homes. And then we get out to the highway. And I am really hungry. And I need some water. I can put you on pause, but that would take effort. There's a house there on the left that we just passed getting down here towards the end. I want to figure out with some of these like main shrubs and I didn't realize but um, 
I had to look it up that there is actually indigenous bamboo. There's, I think, two different varieties. So this is the little um, home community when you first come onto our parkway. Uh, yeah, there is um, 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 did indigenous. Sorry, woohoo! Mental pause. That's my age. Brain fart. Bicyclist. Um, so yeah, so there's uh, indigenous bamboo. Sorry, I'm just carrying on and on, aren't I? Indigenous bamboo. And I didn't realize. I just figured and assumed that all bamboo grew in Asia and that we didn't have any that was indigenous here. Indigenous. Indigenous here. But we do. So um, so now you know. And all kinds of... I just... I'm, I'm looking forward to exploring because there's just all kinds of um, trees and, and plants. And that's like, you know, writing and outdoors, plants, um, horticulture. That was like going to be my major and and then, and then I didn't family, family first. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the progress I did. <laughs> so, you know, whether you did or didn't, I did, but I hope you did anyway. Okay. Thanks for coming along. You guys, thank you. Thank you for keeping me company and I'll talk to you soon with more progress. So, this is the backyard and looking into Otis. Stop pulling me, please. Looking at the house to the front. We're going across the backyard. Good boy. Otis has already begun to mark his territory. That is the sunroom window. That is the porch. I'm assuming there will be stairs there. I'm hoping. Yes, maybe, hopefully. That is the workshop guest cottage area. Otis, stop pulling me, please. Over here, please. Over here. And this is the garage. And that's our bedroom where those windows are and our bathroom. That's the garage. Again, the workshop cottage, guest cottage. I'm just going to start calling it a cottage because we live on the coast. And a little turnabout, which I'm not going to come into with the car because I don't want any more holes in my tires. That's just another little lovely front yard area potential for me to landscape. Come on, we're going to go back inside, bud. All right. Being semi disobedient. Front, little porch area for sitting, watching the birds. Coming inside, welcome to our home. This is our living room. That will be a fireplace with built in bookshelves. That is our sunroom. That is our kitchen with a ginormous walk in pantry. This is our dining area. Mom, the corner cupboard will fit here. Beautifully, I do believe, into the sunroom, out to the porch, and back this direction is the laundry area, and no, is that the laundry? No, that's the guest bathroom, it's part and walk, guest bedroom, little walk-in, guest closet, linen closet, other guest bedroom here. And then back out this way. Not sure what I'm hearing up on the roof. Um, this is the master bedroom. A little smaller than I thought, but we will sleep comfortably in here. And a ginormous walk-in closet. And a lovely master bathroom with walk-in shower I'm thrilled about and then we go back out this way there's my little buddy boy 
And this is the little laundry area. This is the garage. This is the other guest room, bonus room. Could be my future craft room. We shall see up here. And it also has a full bathroom over there and a little closet area here. And we shall go back downstairs and walk to the car. Come here. We're keeping it real here, folks. Keeping it real. This is grassroots video time here, yo. So back onto the little front stoop slash porch. I will have fun landscaping or doing something here. Probably an arbor is going to go there. And we will walk back up the driveway. Do you hear? Listen, other than Otis's panting, there was a beautiful breeze in the back. And you can hear it. You can hear it moving through. We still have a lot of dead trees from a fire a couple years ago that, oh, oh, no, 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 you don't. Chicken bone. No KFC for us. Thank you. Gross. Um, yeah, we have some trees that we have to clear out, but otherwise just listen. I hear a dove. I'm going to bring some birds back here, you guys. There's one. I hear one. I want to hear the woodpeckers. I can't see them, so I'm not sure what kind they are. Maybe little chickadees. And and I want some kind of water feature. I think there's there's some natural springs over there, and I really want a moving water feature. No 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 stagnant water here. And this is our driveway. I'll hook you back up in the car, so you can see our our road, our main road. I am sweating buckets right now though because it's hot in that. These are all oaks. Oh, lovely oaks and I'm so glad they're growing back but I want to get rid of those dead tops because I don't want those to inhibit anything. All right, I'll be back with you. So we have progress, yet more progress. Mess in the midst of the progress but I now have shutters on the right side and I have the trim up there and the siding is completely on and um, they had to change out the siding on this side because it wasn't what I had wanted and on that side it will have stone so um, that will be done there was some kind of illness or something with the guy that does that but it'll get done I know it'll get done and then I really want to do the front door the same color as the shutters as close as I can get so that's probably going to change but otherwise yeah let's go inside legit bathroom now and bedroom And bedroom with vaulted ceiling. This one has a little bit of a walk-in closet. Kind of smaller though, I think. I don't know. It probably just seems smaller because it doesn't have the vaulted ceiling. So that's laundry room and the and then this is the master with the master closet which is just so big compared to our old closet. And look at the nice ceiling in the master. It's got the nice coved like you've always liked. And the master bath.
Hopefully they got my tile correct. Toilet area. Because I don't want them to have to like redo anything again. The inside also pretty much entirely drywalled. Can't see through the walls anymore. Starting to look more and more like house house. Not just some sticks. There's a window here that's missing. They need to replace. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. Upstairs to the bonus room, guest room, maybe my craft room. That's all storage in there. It's got its own little closet. Nice little, it's so bright and pretty up here. In the bathroom, in here. Yeah. So, the garage is drywalled. I mean, put up, it's not taped yet, but as you can see, oh, this is exploring. This is Megan's first time out here in how long, Meg? A month. A month? A month is a long time, and my hubby, Tommy Tom, is going to be very excited because what do I see on the front? I see stone. I see stonework. Well, you nar narrate my whole video for me, Mom. Right there. You know, that's what I do. Ow. So we are about two weeks out from moving in. It's, uh, it's really getting real. possibly be my craft room. Then here's a linen closet. And then this is a small spare bedroom. Oh yeah, I have a faucet. Look how big the pantry is. Open that pantry door. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. The dining room with our black, beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. No. And I have to buy a fridge. But... Yeah. Porch. Laundry. And then I think everything still needs to be done up here. Oh, no, they put the flooring in. That's good. They got the flooring in up here. So pretty. So pretty. So here, here's the floor. And kitchen. They still have this covered, but that's my my granite countertop. I am thrilled about this huge pantry. Look how big that pantry is. Very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, I got ceiling fans now too. Yeah, very simple. I'll, I'll, Mom will be replacing that. Ceiling fan, ceiling fan, more ceiling fan. There's our built-ins, our lovely built-ins. Mm -hmm. Oh 
you have to come in and see the bathroom. Look at cabinets, a sink. None of this was here. Look at my tile. None of this was here a month ago. Isn't it pretty? He did wow. such a nice job. And the door, it's not a clear door. It almost was. I stopped them just in the nick of time. There's our toilet. And the, oh, look at it. It looks so good. Isn't it lovely? He did a really good job. And the little inset shelves and everything. Mm -hmm. And the bench. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's a driveway. Holy crap. Wow. And that's where the guest house where I'll live will be. Check it out. Don't step Hola. in this. Ma, don't step in this. I'm not okay. stepping in that. Okay, well, I'm just making sure. Thank you. There's a driveway. It's freshly paved. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Front of the house. And a walkway. There's the walkway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's no stone up yet. It's just the... Uh, it's just the back stuff. Oh my gosh, and the front too. That must mean the porch is probably done. Here's screening for the porch. Oh no, that's for the that's for the plantings. Okay, it's just the they just put the stuff on the back. It's not the stone yet. But it's it's getting there. It's getting there. Oh my gosh. Uh no, we really can't. Oh well shoot, maybe we can go in the back. As long as there's no wet concrete they've been working on the septic oh my gosh it smells so clean out here you guys there's our patio oh my gosh this is the back patio oh my gosh our porch I'm sure it's cured. It's wet, but it's cured. It might be locked though. But we have to go back around the front. Hey guys, I just thought I'd take you along for this momentous occasion. The hubs and I are going to christen our new mailbox. Oh, I'm sorry. Otis is accompanying us, if he can get his attention this way. Yeah, Odie's probably already christened it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we thought we'd take you along to christen our new mailbox. Otis. Can you guys hear that sound? It's the wind and the trees, isn't it lovely? So my sweet husband put our box in for us, but he kept the numbers so that I could have the honors of putting them on the mailbox. Ta-da! Just for privacy's sake, I'm not going to show you the full numbers. But look, we've got mail. Outgoing. 